Hello guys, if I look a little bit scary, don't get scared. I, I don't always look like this, I promise. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a different video. I had asked you guys on my Snapchat if you guys were interested in seeing me or watch me dye my hair because I feel like the number one question is what hair dye do you use? I get this question pretty much almost on a daily basis. So I was like, you know what? I need to dye my hair. It's that time. Might as well just sit here. I'm going to show you guys what I like to use to keep my hair super, super dark because I love black, black, black hair. So I'm going to show you guys what I use. I'm also going to show you a little bit of my hair care routine and what I use to keep my hair really long and healthy. You guys say that it looks healthy, but it's because of the lights. It looks healthy. It's not that healthy. So yeah, if you guys want to see me do that, then go ahead and keep watching and let's, let's get our gloves on, shall we? So I ran to Sally's earlier today to pick up some hair dye and honestly guys I have been dyeing my hair black for so many years like it's probably been over 10 years since I've been dyeing my hair black. I've tried different hair colors on me and I just I can't I feel like black is just my thing. Black like my soul we have to match. So these are the hair colors that I recently started using maybe about six months ago before I was using the Revlon brand, the one that's like super cheap, the two, three dollar box from Walmart. And it just, it wouldn't hold the color for a long time. So I discovered these. These are the one and only Argan Oil hair color, which look like this. And the shade that I get or the color that I get is 1N Very Black. Now make sure that you pay attention to what the box says. This one is a permanent color cream. I like to use that because I want my hair to stay as black for as long as possible. I don't dye my hair very often. I probably do it once every two months. Just once I notice that the hair or the black is pretty much faded. When I bought them today, they had them buy one get one free. So I got them for such a good price. I also got two of the developer. I asked the girl because I'm not knowledgeable with like hair or anything and no, I am not an esthetician. So I got two of these. These are the number 10. She said that you can get 20 if you're trying to cover up grays, but that's not really like my deal. I do have a lot of gray hairs actually, but when I just dye my hair, they completely cover because it's just a few. So I bought two because you need one per box and since I usually use two boxes, I got two. I also have here a little bowl. I've use this so many times this is such an old bowl and then I have my little spatula here so what I'm gonna do is I am going to mix all of this box with this developer into my little container and there's really nothing special that I do I really just start just start going at it and depending on where you want to focus most of your hair dye that's obviously where you want to spend the most time I usually like to, I don't really care much about my roots because my hair is naturally dark, but the rest of my hair, I do have grays. So for me, like the bottom of my hair, like all this, it's way more important than my roots. This is going to take me forever. So we're going to try and do a time lapse or fast forward. And I'm going to watch a show because this is going to get boring because I will sit here for hours.
Okay, so I am done even though I look crazy. Guys, I don't know what it is. Every time that I dye my own hair, I always make a mess. Like, look at my chest. Look at my arms. Look at this. How I am the messiest at applying my hair. Look at this. I need to go wash this off. If you guys know what to use to remove um, pintura off the skin, please let me know. But I'm going to leave this on for about 30 minutes, wash it off. And then I'm going to come back with my wet hair. And I'm going to show you guys what I like to put on my hair so I can get it really nice and shiny. So stay tuned. I just got out of the shower, guys. So my hair is still pretty wet. The towel that I've been using has helped my hair drying process so much more. So this is what my hair looks like right after the shower. This is my natural hair. If you guys didn't know, I have super curly hair. Well, not as much anymore, but I was born with naturally curly hair. The first thing that I go in with is this Bedhead Eco Boost Split and Mender Leave-In Conditioner, which is this one right here. That's all it is. It's a serum. And and I don't know that this really has mended my um, split ends. Like, I don't think there's anything that can close split ends. I don't believe in that. It's just dead hair. So I just literally put this right on my ends. And it smells so stinking good, which is another reason why I like it a lot. I also put this on my daughter's hair. And then after that, I love, 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 love this product. This is sold at Sally's. But as of recently, I haven't been able to find it at Sally's anymore. So if you guys know if this brand is still sold there, please let me know. I had to order it off of Amazon. This is the Brazilian Tech Leave-In Treatment. It is a keratin treatment. And it's just amazing. It makes my hair super silky, super smooth, super shiny. And it, does, it doesn't weigh it down, but it kind of gets rid of the, um, the frizz on my hair. So with this one, I just spray it all over. The last thing that I put in my hair is an oil. I always have to have oils in my hair. I don't know why. I think I'm just so used to it. This is a new one that I started trying out, and I really like it. It smells so good, you guys. I'm a sucker for hair products that smell really good. This one is by Garnier. It's the Marvelous Oil Hair Elixir, and it says here that this is for dry to very dry hair. I just do two pumps, which is about that much. And then again, I always try to concentrate mostly everything on my ends because that's where my hair feels the most dry. Also, if you guys are interested in knowing what shampoo I use because the shampoo that I use, I feel like it makes a huge difference of how silky and how shiny my hair is. It is by the brand Matrix, but I don't remember the name. I will have it linked down below for you guys if any of you guys are interested in that. And after I've applied this to my hair, I always, always let my hair dry naturally. And I did want to let you guys know that the product that I use before I apply or before I put any heat to my hair is this one. It is the Flat Iron Perfector Straightening Mist, which is this one right here, also by Garnier. I actually really like their products. So I go in with this one and I spritz it all over my hair and then I will just straighten my hair and that is it. And at the end, I always put a little bit of oil. And I'm going to show you guys how my hair looks once it's straight. Whoo, what a difference. So this is what my hair looks like after I have straightened it. Also, if you guys are wondering, because I also get asked what straightener do you use? And this is the one that I use. It is by the brand Numi. I've had this for such a long time, probably like two years, maybe three years. I love this so much. I do use it pretty high. I use it at like 400 degrees, which is really bad for your hair. But because I have such frizzy, curly hair, I have to make my hair pin straight in order to stay pin straight for the next few days. I think that is pretty much it. I don't think I missed out on anything. Um, if you guys want to share with me what is your hair care routine because everybody has different hair. I'm always looking for the next best next best. Thing. So if you guys have any hair care recommendations or any products that you just like are dying over, please let me know in the comment section down below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this random AF watch me dye my hair video. But I will be back on Friday with more beauty videos. Thank you guys for joining me today. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.